Hey everyone, what's up? So, this is the next installment of Let Me Tell You About Homestuck, and it's for the weeks of September 28, 2013 through today, October 4, 2013. So, getting started. Yes, this is my partially complete Mina cosplay and it came at such an interesting time because she's in the updates this week. Alright, so we, we stopped off with uh, Brain Ghost Dirk trying to suck out Arania's soul and we start with the scene that deals with Amina and Verska. You see, first you see Aradia on top of this tower and upon further inspection you can tell that it looks like it's Mina's house because it's got some stuff that looks like it would be her house, like statues and stuff. And you can see the next scene switches to Mina braiding Vriska's hair while Vriska's having like this deep intellectual type conversation thinking about how her actions have affected other people and thinking about how Arania is doing basically the same thing. She goes on about how, you know, it's kind of embarrassing now that she thinks about it, about her trying to be Mind Fang and Arania doing the same thing because they're kids pretending to be something that they're not and, you know, a Mind Fang was an adult and apparently there was some adult content in her journal and stuff and, you know, she's starting to, to feel like it's embarrassing. She figures that Arania would have had billions of sweeps to know better, so she doesn't really understand why she's doing this. But this is almost an inner reflection on herself, not just Arania, realizing that she understands now why people couldn't stand her. She just kept pretending to be the pirate queen and trying to act like the pirate queen and doing things that would reflect on her as being awesome. And, you know, she realizes that you know, she's being a bit more egotistical than she should have been. Even the plan that she was doing was a last-ditch effort on her being, like, trying to feed her ego and being e egotistical and such. And she's just, you know, going into a, a ton of detail while, of course, Mina's braiding her hair and trying to be very, very supportive. And she, Mina reflects that, um, that she noticed that both the circuits do things for, like, how to make them look. And Mina's never been about that. She, she tries something, and if it's a stupid plan, well, then it's a stupid plan, and she realizes that it's a mistake. It doesn't deal with her self-esteem. It has no reflection on her, whereas with the circuits, they'd like you to believe that it doesn't affect their self-esteem, but everything they do is for show. Everything they do affects their self-esteem. So if their plan fails, it reflects on them, and they they worry so heavily about that. Vriska and Arania are both the same way. So they talk about that for a while, and then they talk about whether or not they should continue the plan, and um, Vriska admits that Arania was doing most of the mind controlling, so she doesn't feel like she can do it now, and she asks basically Nina if they should continue to plan and, you know, can can we just dump it and Mina doesn't feel like there's a problem with that. She she says, yeah, no problem with sticking a fork in, in some dumb shit that doesn't work, you know. So, she's very supportive of that and they decide that they're not going to do the plan anymore of attacking. They think, they think a couple of times about how they could possibly do it, but it just ends in them being permanently dead, you know, ghosts gone. So, they just decide not to do it. And she says, Mina says that giving up isn't always a bad thing. If she had decided, hadn't decided that she, you know, decided well, she wasn't going to be queen and decided to go to the moon and all the shenanigans from there began, she'd have never met Vriska. And uh, that made Vriska happy. And of course, it made all of us very happy and started going, yay, they're friends. Because when they were first introduced, I was like, this could be bad. But nah, they're, they're totally adorable. I don't know if they could be more rails or not, but they're totally adorable together, and it's it's really great seeing them being friends and connecting. So, yay! All right. So after that, 
it goes back to Brango, Dirk, and Arania, and Rose is floating above them and comes down and comments, or comes down and wonders what Dirk is doing. And at the same time, you can see that Jake's power is dissipating, and you know, Brango, Dirk is becoming more and more fake again. And um, instead of answering Rose at all, he just tells her to get Roxy out of there, so. She picks Roxy up and floats away, and it's so cute. It's just There's just so much fluff in this particular set of stuff. It's just so cute to see everybody together and hanging out. And, you know, Dirk also comments to Jake that, you know, he doesn't need Arania for his power. He can continue his power on his own. And then, of course, instead of answering normally, Jake goes off with another silly phrase again. So, yeah. Um... Then we have Friday's update, which I wasn't sure whether or not they were going to update, so, you know, I gave it some time, but they did update, and it, there's a long update. Um, the update starts off with Terezi still stabbing Gamzee, and she's upset that he won't react, that he won't say anything, he won't fight back, he won't acknowledge her, he won't die. She's upset to the point of tears, and a lot of people on Tumblr were getting upset about this, saying... Why is everybody getting so angry at Gamzee and, up, and upset and going, oh, poor Terezi? Well, I don't think it's necessarily like that. Terezi knows that, that him and Arania are in cahoots somehow, but she doesn't know that Arania is mind-controlling him. And, you know, to her, all that meanness, all of that is real. It's coming from Gamzee, so, you know, you can't blame her for being upset about that. We don't know if Gamzee's hurting on the inside or if he's angry on the inside. We don't know any of that, and we won't know yet until he, you know, until he's back to himself, which might be possible, because one of the scenes you see, um, the mind control symbol on his head is starting to crack. And that's, of course, because Arania's soul is getting sucked out. So, Jane is, of course, watching all of this, and people are saying that Jane is seeing Terezi possibly in danger, so she makes the next move that she makes, um... At the same time, you see that Jake's hope field is really, really dropping, and, you know, at this point, Brango's Dirk is almost, is you see through, and his fakeness is, like, at least probably, like, 80, 90 percent, so, yeah. Um, Rose has also taken Roxy to a safe place and sits her down, and is just kind of sitting above her, and it's really cute. Um... Then you see Jane in one of the prettiest, probably the prettiest pictures of her, um, up to date. But you see her and you can see there's a bit of herself in her eyes and she says, Jake, forgive me. And the next thing you see her doing is, um, hurling her fork trident thingy at Jake and stabbing him. And that's it. Um, people are saying this is because she wants to try to help Terezi. You know, and if she gets rid of the rest of Jake Hopefield, then um, Arania will snap out of it and um, she can continue controlling Gamzee. But they're really, I mean, why would why would she want to help Terezi? What goal would she have? I mean, to me it's a little bit confusing. I'm sure if I thought about it for a while I could come up with my own theories, but I'm definitely interested to see what happens next. There's so much going on. People are worried that Gamzee's going to snap out of it and kill Terezi. They're sad about whether or not Jake is going to stay dead. I don't think he's going to stay dead because Arania is the one who controlled um, Jade's before, and I just don't see her wanting Jake to be permanently dead because she might need him for something. But I guess we'll see, you know, because th those are basically the ends of it, at least up until now. I haven't checked before I filmed this, but whatever happens after that goes on next week's update. So, yeah. If you'd like, you can tell me your theories. You can talk to me about anything I might have missed. You know, you can just just feel free to chat about this because this is a pretty interesting update. And and all the fluff between Briska and Mina was so cute, and it it was it was a good week for updates. I think it was, it was a really good week. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I had a lot of fun with it, and it just you know encouraged me to to cosplay Mina even more. And I'm. I've been practicing fish puns and practicing the way that she talks. I was going to do this whole video in character of her, but I was like, let's not do that quite yet, because I don't think that I have quite the Mina persona going on, so. 
But yeah, it's still fun. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye!